Hello, it's Tyler here, guys. Today I got another review for you. Uh, I purchased this myself, seeing a lot of people using it, and I want to bring it to y'all, the viewers, to see how it actually works. I don't see a lot of videos on it. And this would be the Hornaday Cam Lock Bullet Puller. Let's talk about it. Go pro. <laughs> So guys in the intro this is the cam lock bullet puller item 050095 this is for your reloading you're gonna see me mount this on my Dillon 550 which is over here to my left you're gonna see that here in a few in the video I'm gonna show you how to set it up I'm gonna show you how it goes uh, there's only one downfall to this guys and I'm gonna tell you when I bought it I thought it was ready to roll you know didn't have to buy nothing else no you're mistaken you have to buy these collets, okay? Collets, I mean. You have to buy these collets, okay? So for whatever size, you know, you're pulling, bullet pulling, you buy the collet for it. Okay, let's talk. Let's take this apart. And let's... Very well, good construction here. Uh, comes apart in two different sections, as you can tell. Uh, it's kind of like, a, you know, if you ever worked on a... I'd say like a pop, you know, corkscrew. I, I'd, I'd say that, you know, you go in there, you pull it and it unlocks it. But, you know, so what you're doing is you're putting pressure down on this collet here and it's grabbing hold of that bullet, okay? And when you do that, you take your press, you pull your press and it pulls the bullet out. So you don't have to use the old hammer trick that everybody's been using for such a long time. Uh, especially when you have a lot of them, you know, you be over here, you know how you got to tap, 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 look, tap, tap, tap. Well, this is, you know, this is also good, you know, if you're doing one, you don't have to set your whole, you, you know, your, your press up. Uh, it does come with a lock, uh, you know, a lock ring here. So once you get it set, you can lock it down so it won't move nowhere. Uh, it comes with detailed instructions really well. Uh, you know, Hornaday, if anyone has a Hornaday, y'all know it's really good stuff. So, I don't have a Hornaday press. Uh, I used to, got rid of it because I want to move to fit bigger and faster. So I got a deal in 550. Also got a 750, but we're gonna not show the 750 today. So, let's switch on over to this press over here and I'll show you how to set it up. Well, it's time GoPro, to pull. Stop like I said, I'm going to show you how to do this right here. This uh, bullet puller. So, this bullet puller, I already took my factory bullet seating die out. Uh, it's a Lee. As you can tell by my videos, I have D and R RCBS. Uh, I am really had no problems on my Lee dies. You know, that's another, we're, we're getting another review on them. So, you see how I just took this apart. So, what we're going to do is we're going to pull that plunger out, they call it a plunger, and you're gonna pull your number two 22 Hornaday collet out. You know, I've never had any problems, you know, out of this. I've been using it quite a while now, uh, especially when you got to pull 50 of them out and you ain't over here doing this number, you know, trying to get this thing pulled, you know, the, the bullet. That always works, but it get kind of annoying after a while when you got to do 50 bullets. So, let's close this up right here we're gonna close up till we feel a little bit of drag okay we just got a little bit of drag you see that right there i'm gonna demonstrate how this works okay y'all watch this really well y'all see that it grips the bullet and, you know it's pretty self-explanatory after that once you put it in there and it grips that bullet you pull you you know you push this once you got it back up there you pull this back down that's it man you already got your bullet pulled but i'm gonna show you how to you know set this thing up this is what i do i'll run it all the way down till i see it opening up right here okay till it's right there that way i don't you know over primer you know i got all mac priming system on my die so i don't want to over prime it so sorry for the not showing you but okay y'all see it starting to exit now right there 
Okay, that's where I that's where I like to start. Stop. So what I do is right now I pull that down and then I lock it down with my own key that it comes with. That it comes in the pack. But this right here is really critical right here, guys. You want to operate this so you start feeling a little bit of tension. Once you feel a little bit of tension, you know, you just you work it from there. Uh, you don't want to overdo it. So what I do is once I start feeling the tension, I back it off till right there, just like that. So you see, you know, how that is. So let's get some of these bullets that I reloaded and I put too much powder in. I got one to blow my barrel out in the gun range and they started really you know, doing some weird stuff. I mean, they're grouping good. I just want to blow my barrel out. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this. This is a 223 bullet right here that I reloaded. Uh, you know, it's a little banged up right there, but you know, I've always ran them like that. So it ain't no big deal. So what you do is you run this up, you know, you get it lined up here, you run it up, just like that, and then you stop, okay? Then you crank, see, remember I was telling y'all, y'all's too tight? See how tight that is right now? So what you wanna do is, you wanna back it off a full turn. I did that on purpose to show y'all. You cannot, oh, you, you, you tighten these up. The idea to this, guys, is you wanna try to save your bullet. Okay, you want to save this bullet because I'm pulling it out because, you know, one, the bullet's messed up on this one, but, you know, a lot of them I pull is because I got, I don't have my powder right and I want to double check. I want to get my scales out and double check because I don't want to risk and hurting me or my gun. So right now it is crimped. So right now we're going to go back down on the, on it. As you can tell, there's no bullet, right guys? This is the craziest part right here. Let me show you. Look at this, here's the bullet. There is no marks, very little. You can reuse this bullet. So what I'm gonna do guys, I'm gonna reach around over here and I'm gonna pull my 4064 IMR I, I out, pour it in there. Okay, cause I already know I messed up on you know a couple of these. So enough talking, let's see how fast we can do this. You know, the old bullet. Now let's set a little hammer trick here. Yeah, there, there, there it went that fast. You know what I'm saying? Paired to 50. Like I said, guys, if you don't have a bullet pulling like this in y'all's collection, y'all, y'all, y'all need to get one. Uh, this is, you know, saves you time. You know, headaches. You get to save your, you know, you save your powder, your bullets. You know, bullets are hard to come by right now. I'm just not talking about casings. Now you can go to casings, your local academy, and pick up a set of cases, 223 casings, like they're nothing. Uh, they won't have primers in them, for sure, and they won't have bullets, okay? The bullets I'm using, soft tip, uh, this, I've always ran. I got a couple thousand of those. You know, I'm, I'm pretty set on this crisis, guys, going on right now. Uh, you know, y'all need to get out and y'all need to start buying because it's, it's only going to get, you know, harder from here. Uh, get, load up. If you're a reloader, load up on some primers. Load up. I remember my last videos, I said, don't pay those ridiculous prices. Guys, if you have the money, pay it because you're not going to get them. Okay. I think, I think they're about to stop producing ammunition for a while. And I think we're going to go into a shortage of ammunition. As my buddy would call it, my buddy Chris would call it a, a recession for ammunition, which we're already seeing, guys. We got 100 people lined up in our academy. You know, my local academy, I have three. There's hundreds of people lined up of them. And I'm like, holy cow, just to get primers or some bullets. I mean, and you got these people saying they don't even have them, you know, in stock. And there's people wait two, three hours in line and just for them to say, hey, guys, we don't have them. Uh, you know, just the other day I was on Gun Broker, these same bullets that I buy, I was buying these, a pack of them, like a pack of hundred, they maybe ran me $12, $13, they're Winchesters, you know, you know, uh, soft tips. Uh, <clears throat> here goes some more right here. These are good, so, I mean, I don't have to pull, I'll have to pull a couple of these, so I'm gonna continue pulling them. But, you know, soft tip Winchesters here, and old boy's asking 50 bucks, that's 50 cent a bullet, that's not including the actual, you know, we're talking about powder that it goes in. You know, we're not talking about, you know, the casing. Okay, we're, you know, I'm seeing 50 cent a bullet. I'm thinking, 
You know, that's got to include everything else, you know what I'm saying? No, it does not, okay? Y'all don't, you know, y'all need to buy this stuff because it's only gonna get worse. Uh, you know, if you got friends going out there, hey, it's a two-way community, guys. Let's, you know, I had a buddy of mine have a competition. He called me up, drew out high no primers. I tossed him 100 primers. Yes, they're hard to come by, don't get me wrong, but, you know, we all need to come together in a two-way community and let's help each other out, okay? Y'all stay safe out there. Like I said, I hope this video helped you with, you know, bullet pulling. Uh, I know this right here, a buddy introduced me to it, and ever since I fell in love, you know, I, you know, I don't like the, I feel like it's gonna explode on me sometimes, because sometimes you gotta just hit it real hard, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're thinking that bullet gonna go flying out of that little plastic, you know, thing here. But don't get me wrong, guys, this has been like this for a while now. This right here has been out for a while, okay? You know, back, you know, about a year ago, you know, if I, if I had a bullet like this, you know, it was over, you know, I over put too much, you know, I think I put too much powder in. Uh, I'd be like, you know what? Throw it off to the side, I get to it later. You know how many of these bullets I have right now? Throw it off to the side, you know, it's ready to roll. Just, I'm thinking they're too much. I got a whole crap, I probably got two, 3,000. That's just how it was, you know? You know, it's real cheap to do it, but you can't do it no more, guys, because it's getting crazy. Primers, $50 for 100, you know, that's 50 cent a primer. You know what I'm saying? That is nuts. 50 cent, 50 cent, you're a dollar, not including the brass you're using the, I mean, you're $2, man. Uh, we've been having a lot of gun shows down here where I'm at, so I've been trying to hit them up, but I'm not paying those you know, prices if I have it on standby. Uh, you know, I'm just not shooting as last as shooting that 22 LR up because I got a whole crap load of it. But guys, y'all hit a like, share, and subscribe. I'm going to start showing you some more videos of this Dylan 550 here.